Previous to this video, I've already applied my foundation and a gray um, eyeshadow as my blush. And now I'm applying a white foundation just over the top of my forehead, extending it down to the brow as well as in between my brows and down to the outer side of my temples um, just to create a gradient effect and we'll soften it up a bit later. Now using a white matte eyeshadow, we're going to take a big brush and just pat it over the white foundation that you just applied. This will give it a softer look and make it appear more white and really bring out that tone. We're also going to apply it using a blending brush down the sides of your temples just to even out between the white and your natural flesh tone. It's also going to soften the edges, so make sure you do this on either side of your temple as well as in between your nose. We're going to now prime our eyelid and use that same white eyeshadow that we just applied to the upper portion of our face all over the lid. Using any black matte eyeshadow, we're going to apply this to the crease by using a sponge tipped applicator. Apply this all over your crease as well as just above the inner corner of your eye. Apply it to the outer corner of your eye, bringing it down, lining the outer ridge of your lid, and then smudge it out using a smudging brush. We're going to take a dark gray shimmer and apply this to the outer edge of your eye where the white peeks through between the interior of your eye and the exterior of your lid. Taking a slightly lighter shade of silver, we're going to apply this to the inner side of your eye, making sure it reaches your inner corner as well as all the way up to that black that traces your corner. Now we're going to take a shimmer. This one is by Makeup Forever. It's more of a clear tone and we're going to apply this as a highlight under the brow and blending it in with the white that you can see I'm um, blending it in near my nose and make sure you highlight all of your brow just above the black eyeshadow. Taking a cream black eyeliner, we're going to line the eye using a brush creating a winged effect. Um, really really thickly winged effect that's going to blend in with the black eyeshadow that's already applied. Your interior side of your lid should be very thinly lined so that the focus and the drama is based on the exterior side of your eye. Taking that same dark gray, you're going to line your bottom lashes as well as you can mix it with some black and then you're going to draw that dark gray just under the wing that you've just created to give it a little more drama and kind of a peekaboo effect in the outer corner of your eye. Next we're going to apply our mascara. I'm using an eye opening type. Um, apply this after you've curled your lashes really focusing on the outer lashes uh, near the wing because we really want to make this look dramatic and we're really going to layer it on so that your eyelashes are clearly black and they almost have a fake look to them and they extend really far out to match your winged eyeliner. I'm using a MAC mineralized illuminator that I'm going to apply to the center and bridge of my nose as well as just between my brows. This is going to really bring the light and focus in on the bridge of my nose so that way it looks slimmer. Now 
We're going to fill in the brows now using a matte black eyeshadow and a liner brush. And here I'm tracing across the outer edges of the shape of my brow and then blending it in, making sure that all the edges are very sharp and defined. And I make my brow even a little bit longer than what I normally do. How do you see Taking a black eyeliner pencil, we're going to line the lips. Um, you can really do this pretty easily because it's black so it's easy to look at and we're also going to fill in the lips with this black color so if you mess up it's not a big deal. Just keep going. It's much easier to do this if your lips are moisturized. Um, the drier they are the harder it is to fill in and the less easy the pencil goes on and you'll have spots of pink of your natural lips showing through the black so you really want to make sure that you've put some lotion on your lips prior to this because it'll go on much easier and much quicker. Taking the glue of fake eyelashes, we're going to use this to apply sequins to your face. I'm starting just above my right side temple, applying a little bit on each side of the sequins and just filling in my hairline as I go. I'm going to extend this down to my cheekbone, thickening as much as I like. This is really up to your creative interpretation. Um, I just extended it a little inwards from my face. You can bring it in more, you can bring it down more. Um, it's really easy and these peel off. You can just literally pick them off and then take the glue off with makeup remover. So it's really easy and really simple and it gives a shimmery effect to this look. Once you are satisfied with your sparkles, this look is complete.